What do you do, baby? What's up, everybody? So, I'm about to watch a game, NBA game. <laughs> so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make this video real, real short. Um, Pelicans versus who do you got? Nuggets. It literally just started like ten minutes ago, fifteen minutes ago. Y'all know how it is, bro. You know what? Something I've always found funny about NBA games, especially when it comes to the finals, but for, uh, right now, let's just talk about uh, regular season games. When it's a... Oh, actually, before I talk about that, Joe Embiid, he plays for the 76ers, and then... Oh, what's his name? He beat somebody's ass. They were playing a game. What's the other guy's name? Oh, Cal, uh, Carl Anthony Towns. I think that's his name. He plays for... I don't even know what to, Oh, Minnesota Timberwolves. And they were playing yesterday during the game. I don't know how the beef was started. Usually when, when you're like... You know, like... When there's tension in between two players, usually it starts... It like it probably has been happening, but they just haven't gotten down. Uh, or, yeah, usually like the hate starts pretty early, and it's something they did, but but there's never, cause you gotta have an excuse to fight. Cause there's always there could always be tension, but then. You have, you have to have something to blame it on, so... Like, if he steps on your shoe, then you'll take advantage of that, of that little, of that little situation. And you'll, you'll start throwing hands. Because you've already been having that tension. And then if they say, why you fought? You'll just be like, oh, he stepped on my shoe. I got a meal, and this and that, you know, some BS. But, uh... Yeah, they just started, they just started fighting. That was just an example. That's not why they actually fought. I don't know why uh, this video that I saw was like really, really short. So they got down, and then I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's the Pelicans versus the Nuggets. Hopefully, they win this one. So far, they've only won once. And then, oh, also, also some news last night. So the Warriors, damn man. Shout out to Steph Curry. Hope he gets better. There's nothing I can do for him to like to help him out, you feel me? I was gonna say prayers out to him, but I mean prayers out to him, but there's nothing I like I can do, bro. I can't do nothing but just you know, give him some hope or something. I don't know. So, anyways. He broke his hand, like his wrist or something. Like literally a player fell on his hand. I don't know what part it was. I think it was his wrist. Because when he was walking out, um, it wasn't dangling or anything. He was just walking out normal. He didn't see no bone sticking out. Okay, so, and that's, bro, Steph Curry. The reason why when I saw that, I was like, damn. It's because when he shoots, I mean, he's a shooter. So imagine being a shooter and then your, your hand, like your most prized possession, like gets broken. You know, not even being a shooter, just being a basketball player. You know, now, now that I think of it, it's knees, because I mean, you're running left and right, and then your wrist, bro. So yeah. So shout out to Steph Curry. And hopefully the Pelicans win. They take this one because if they don't, bro. And then Zion, Zion is coming back. He's been now for like three weeks. And they say he was going to take like five weeks to heal. So hopefully, you know, like in two weeks. Let's see how he turns out. Hopefully good. He may start off a little slow for his first game. And then hopefully he starts picking up to how he was. And then he starts going. Um, oh, with LaMelo. So the Warriors, so, the, so now they're thinking uh, 
Lamelo might be a high draft pick. Like first draft, hopefully. And then and then so hopefully the, the Warriors. I mean they could. The Warriors could just tank for him. Basically, I don't even know what it is, bro, because can you really lose on purpose? When they say tank, tank for somebody. I'm fine with that. Because next year you got Curry and Clay and then Lamelo. The thing is, oh, they might trade D'Angelo Russell. Well, I don't know. Hopefully they keep him. That, they, that, that way they can have a solid squad. My number one choice, you already know. My number one choice for Lamelo is the Pelicans. By the looks of it, I mean, I think the Pelicans are like 7-1, bro. I mean, 1-7. Lost 7-1-1. Hopefully, Lamelo goes to the Pelicans. Supposedly, I was seeing on, on Ball in the Family, it's like a show for the Ball Brothers. Supposedly, that the middle brother, Jello, supposedly he's doing workouts for, for the Pelicans or something like that. But I don't know, bro, I need, a, I need to see him reaction, bro, because he hasn't played that I know of. I don't know. Like he's, he, he hasn't played any, any competitive... Hopefully he plays in a Drew League next summer. Or well he was he was healing all summer this year. Or something, bro. We gotta see him in action. Cause the draft is next year, like around May or Yeah, like around May, June. Or July. I don't really know. But I'm gonna end the video right here. It's already seven minutes, bro. Damn. Time goes like quick. Alright, so I'm gonna see you guys. I don't know. But peace out.